Yo, what up? What's up, guys? Hi, it's me, Costa. It's me, Costa. Yo, check out this shirt. 110%. And on the back, uh, eh, ah. how cool is that? And guess what? I designed it. It's my own shirt. If you would rock this shirt, hit the like button. Or say you'd, I'd rock that in the comments. Anyways, you guys, in this video, I want to talk about all of the mean comments. I want to read a whole bunch of the mean comments on my TikTok account. If you're not following me on TikTok, please do so. It's at Costa Makes Sushi. And uh, check out all my content. I got crazy, crazy stuff. I break all the rules when it comes to sushi and um, I get a lot of hate for it. But I don't care because it's funny to me. The type of content I want to put out and um, you, get to, you know, people take me way too seriously on there. They think I'm not for real, for real. They can hate all they want. Most likely they're not better than me at what I do. And for those that are better than me at what I do, I do take those comments seriously. It's all fun, it's all love, it's TikTok. So this video that I'm gonna be doing this on is my most recent viral video. Viral. Um, I think it's at like 1.8 million right now. So if you are not following me yet, follow me on TikTok. I'm gonna play the video that I'm going to be reading the comments from right now, check it out. So before I go into the comments, most of them are about the, the contamination and yeah, I, I did, I should have covered most of this stuff better. The main portion of all my ingredients was covered. The only thing that the ginger wasabi wasn't covered and my sauce bottles technically, but I served the salmon completely raw and it is for sushi. Uh, a lot of people gave me hate for it, which I understand because I mean, from a professional standpoint, yes, I should have done better, but that's what we're doing. We're learning together, all right? Anyways, I'm going to be reading the comments for this video. XRangi97. Wrong. <laughs> All right, easy one to start with. Fizzy Drink says, As the owner of my own local sushi franchise, I have to say that your form is very wasteful and your cuts are uneven. First of all, I don't throw away anything except for the head, really. Anna Lane 22 says, LOL, not really a pro. Terrible breakdown of the salmon, in my opinion. I don't see any salmon breakdown videos on your channel. Whatever. Mr. LOS189 says, Why gloves? Afraid of... Punk. <laughs> oh, man. I wear gloves when I break down fish. Normally, I just wear it on one hand that's handling the fish. But I wear gloves because so I don't transfer the outside of the fish onto the actual usable meat. And once I'm done breaking down like the whole fish, I then change gloves and handle the inside of the fish. Keith Grimm says, pro? More like a one-year culinary student. Ouch. <laughs> I've never been to culinary school. I have, however, taught a couple of uh, sushi classes for the culinary program in my city. FRMDA323 says, Wrong knife, and doesn't seem very sharp, my guy. You sure you're a professional? Okay. Sushi chef, shokunin, use deba. Wow, that sounded so Asian. Sushi chefs use deba, which is a single beveled Japanese cleaver when breaking down fish or anything with bones in it. That's the way I was trained. And I'm sure I am professional. I've been doing this for 11 and a half years. Kyle Rosadilla says, Dia? Kyle Rosadilla says, Should have cleaned your station before filming. While prepping, fish should be over ice. Cuts are rough. More like a rookie. Cuts are rough. Yeah, maybe. But um, I'm a professional. Not, a, not the best at this. I needed to scrap pieces for a scrape for a spicy salmon. Logan Ayers 6 says, Not a professional. 
if he doesn't clean his knife after every cut. Gordon Ramsay taught me. Gordon Ramsay, here we go. Gordon Ramsay taught me that. Okay, here is the thing. After each cut, I usually do wipe my knife. There have been maybe a clip where I didn't wipe it immediately after. When I break down salmon, I do the take off the loins, two loins, the spine bones. I separate the spine bones and the head. But after I take the bones out, portion them, trim it, I salt it. I'm gonna cure it with salt. I'm gonna let that sit for 10 minutes, right? And then before I wrap the fish, I rinse everything off. I rinse all the salt off, any scales that might be on there, and then I pat dry it, and then I freeze it for about a week. But you should know that, right? You're the pro, right? Not me. Brendan BC20 says, so wrong knife for the job, and the knife itself that you are using needs sharpening. You don't know how sharp my knives are. You can't tell over TikTok, you can't tell over video. I can shave with that same knife. I haven't sharpened it yet ever since I used it on the salmon. So maybe I'll do a video where I shave my face with one of my knives. Lol what Maine says, number one, didn't sukibiki slash scale at all. Number two, not proper sanmai oroshi technique. Number three, no shiojime cure. Sushi simple tasks built, built upon one another. Don't skip. Who the fuck? First of all, I'm not Edomai style, which is super traditional style. I know most of the preparation Edomai style, but I am not an Edomai style. I was not trained Edomai style. No, I did not scale the fish because I don't have one of those scraper things. So sukibiki and scaling is when you take off the scales with the knife. No, I did not do that. Um, I don't do it all the time. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends on if I'm gonna, if I plan to use that, the skin or not. And Shiojime Cure, I, I do cure my fish. I didn't put it on the video because otherwise it'd be a five minute video and who wants to see a five minute video on TikTok? Great comment, actually. User 6170577197770 says, set up your profile so it's easier to read. Compared to Western Sushi Chef, you're okay. Five more years compared to Japanese. Compared to Western Sushi Chef, you're okay. I am a Western Sushi Chef. Five more years compared to Japanese. Huh? As, a, as a Western sushi chef, I'm okay. Five more years to get to where a Japanese, I don't get that. I don't know either. It says, you are not a true sushi chef if you record yourself making sushi. That's weird. And some high school kid shit. What? What? Is there, is there like a guidebook? Or is there like, are you supposed to follow some sort of rule book? Is there a rule book on sushi that I don't know about? Cause chances are the person that wrote that book, they're probably not the best either. LOL. Jesse Ortega Jr. 4 says, so when are they gonna show the pro doing it? <laughs> that is a really good one. And I got a, I got a nice laugh the first time I read that. <laughs> Jesse, let me see you do it. No, I'm just kidding. Kifa says, I've seen deckhands on a moving boat fillet salmon better than that. <laughs> Ouch, you guys. Harsh. Jeez. Elite Buriet, Buriet says, love when the raw fish touches one of the sauce bottles. This is some really ghetto shit. Okay, first of all, if a customer is gonna come to eat and they have an allergy that we don't know about, obviously, they're gonna tell us. They have to sell. We're a su we're, we have sushi, what? We ser what? If you're gonna go to a sushi restaurant and you have a seafood allergy and you can't eat fish, I'd hope you'd tell your server to tell the chefs and they'd probably put it on the ticket. Every time there is a seafood allergy, whether it's shellfish, can't eat shrimp, the iodine allergy, or any seafood at all, an entire new station is created. I grab a new cutting board, I grab a different knife, different makisu, an entire new station is created just to accommodate for that one ticket. If, if it happens, I have to do it. It's no, there's no question about it. There's no trying to finagle around that. One thing that a lot of people don't think about is what happens whenever um, someone who has a allergy orders food that's easily, that easily can be cross-contaminated with something against their allergy. Use new tools, different tools, and use fresh new ingredients. Sometimes I'll even cut cucumber to order just to, just to accommodate. Just for fun, here's, here's a funny comment that someone left that was that I literally could not stop laughing when I read it. Said, I've been making sushi for more than two seconds, sir. You were using the wrong knife to cut the television so the windows can shut off and tables start walking. What in the actual f is that? <laughs> so funny, it was hilarious when I read it. And um, that one is from Andy Racer 99 my guy had me laughing. 
So guys, that's gonna end it for this video. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. It was tons of fun um, for me to be able to uh, read all the negative and mean comments, but um, I did want to clarify some stuff on my end of them, and uh, I, I had a fun time. I did have a fun time making this video. If you guys wanted me to read more comments or like from another video, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. That's gonna end it for this video, guys. I hope you um, enjoyed it. If you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, all you got to do is like, subscribe, and share this video if you've already liked and subscribed. Um, anyways, love you guys. Sushi Army. Love you guys. Peace. Oh, and also, what do you think about this shirt? Huh? 110%? That's like my mantra. 110% and heard on the back? I think I want to sell these shirts, but it's just an idea. I don't know. Let me know. Anyways, peace.